So this is our remote. So I'm going to press on the power button right here. So the relay turns on and let's press on it again. The relay turns off. Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to control a 5 volts relay module using a remote control. Actually, it's an infrared remote control. So I really recommend you watch um, the video that I did before, which is infrared receiver uh, with Arduino, because this video is entirely based on that previous video. So Please make sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Here we have the code um, that you'll find in the last tutorial and we're going to continue on this code. Basically, what this code does is that it gets a code from the infrared sensor whenever a button is pressed on your remote control. So for example, if, if we press the power button, we're gonna get this code right here, this integer. And if we press the button zero, we're going to get this, um, this code right here. So, uh, actually to know the codes for your, uh, remote, you're going to have to follow the previous tutorial to know how to get these codes actually. Okay. So, um, as you remember here, uh, we made a switch case actually to check for the incoming code so we pressed on the power button so we were just um like printing in the serial monitor power button and that's it right so right now what we want to do is actually turn on the relay or turn off the relay based on its current state whenever we press on the power button so what we're gonna do is define the pin for the relay so i'm gonna make another end here relay underscore pin i'm gonna connect it to pin number three right and in the setup function at the end of the setup function here we're going to define the pin mode uh, for the relay so pin mode relay underscore pin and it's obviously going to be an output right and then in the loop function uh, in the case of the button underscore power which is basically the power button pressed what we're going to do here is actually change the state of the relay so we're going to create a global variable right here and it's going to be a bool I'm gonna call it relay underscore state let's set it to low and then here we want to, to flip the the state so relay underscore state is equal to not relay underscore state so if it's high it's gonna be low if it's low it's gonna be high and then we want a digital write to the relay underscore pen and we want to write the relay underscore state all right and guess what that's it let's now connect our arduino and then go to tools board i'm using arduino owner so let's make sure that you select your board type and then in the port select the um, the com port of your arduino and then you're good to go you're going to hit the upload button and that's it. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the relay module PCB that we created in our previous tutorial series, relay PCB. So make sure to check it out if you're interested in making one of this. So um, the, the five volts of this uh, board is connected to the five volts of the Arduino and the ground is connected to the ground of the Arduino and this is the control signal of the relay it's connected to digital pen um, 3 on this Arduino board and this is actually the infrared sensor that we're having right here it's the same uh, the same one we use in the uh, infrared receiver tutorial that we did before and uh, actually it's the same wiring also so the first pin is connected to the ground of the Arduino and then the second pin is connected to the VCC of the Arduino or the 5 volts and then the last pin which is this one is the signal pin and it's connected to digital pin number two on the Arduino board 
So this is our connection right here. So what we're gonna do now is actually try this out. So what I'll what I'll do now is press on this. So this is our remote. So I'm gonna press on the power button right here. So the relay turns on and let's press on it again. The relay turns off. Let's just try it again. Okay, here we go. So that's it guys for this tutorial and thanks a lot for watching.